Hello friends and welcome to this video. Very quickly I'm going to show you how you can import or insert images in your AutoCAD drawing. Now, like the one that you see here. Now all you have to do is go to the insert tab here on the ribbon. Once you click on that, you will have the option to attach a picture that is right here on the reference palette or close to the reference palette. It says attach. Do not confuse this attach okay, with this um, point, point cloud uh, object attachment. It's two complete, completely different things. So just click on this one, the one that has a paper click and a rectangle. Navigate to the picture you want to attach in your drawing. In this case I have this. And after you select it, you can do different things. You can specify an on-screen on point to insert it. You can also specify you want a full path, which is going to be an absolute path meaning uh, something like C, two points, colon, etc, etc. So if you choose that one, if you change the location of your picture, then you may have a problem. You can also choose a relative path or have no path, and so the picture is going to be uh, looked in the same folder than the drawing uh, file is located. You can also specify a scale, so you leave this check mark on. Uh, it's going to ask you to what scale you want that picture once you insert it or also if you want AutoCAD to ask you for a rotation angle. So just let's just leave uh, the scale on and click OK. Then you see you have the, the choice to locate it on the screen. I will just put it right here. And then you have the rubber band effect and you can choose the scale uh, with, the, with your mouse, just pulling in and out your, your mouse. Or you can also specify a scale factor as you can see in the command line. So for now I'm just going to define it like this click and your image has been inserted. Now once that image is inserted you can uh, do different things with it. You can click it and then you can use the grips and you have also an image uh, kind of uh, editor and choices where you can change the brightness, contrast and the different things. Well that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief video about how to insert images into your AutoCAD drawing.